Okay, y'all know what I'm hearing. And we gotta talk about it. I'm hearing by the time this masculine get right, they not even gonna be y'all type no more. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing by the time you get it right, you ain't even gonna be my type. Like some of y'all already like, they ain't even my type no more. She ain't even my type no more. He or she, either way it go. It's like they ran out of time. Like time's up. You played for way too long. Way too long. Yeah, this masculine, he abandoned his family. We got abandonment, abandoned and family. And then regretting this. Ended up regretting this and contemplating on this. Because they know that you're their semi and they want to return. And they're even willing to reinvent themselves. Like, they're reinventing themselves so when they do return, they know. They're they regretting abandoning their family. Now they're sitting here. That's heavily on their mind right now. How are they going to return? How? I think it's more so of how am I going to return? How? How do I return? So they over here trying to reinvent themselves. Mm. This motherfucker left y'all out in the cold. What's been going on with this person? What this person been up to? What this masculine been up to? We got kisses and I like you. So they've been dealing with people who've been crushing on them. Like little fans. Okay. And they got a sex addiction. We got addiction and passion. They got addiction to the thrill of dealing with a karmic. Um, but I'm getting like addicted to porn. Um, addicted to sex. Like they got a sex addiction. They've been dealing with people who who like them, who they like. Just people who they like, not nobody that they actually care about like this. Like this fans. But now they mad. They mad at them now. We got not today. And now they only focusing on themselves. They say I'm only they got an attitude. They got an attitude now. They got an attitude with their little fans. So now they want something real. <laughs> After they done set up the and did and dated around. They could if this person got some pictures of you in their phone, they thinking about you, look through your pictures in your phone. They realize that they didn't make a good choice. That they didn't make the best choice. And now they sitting here spying on you. Just trying to figure out like what you got going on. Have you are you over them? They're trying to figure out are you over them? Are you over them? They know that they crossed the line with you. They know they did. But they can't help they can't help still wanting you. Okay, and it's a lot of things that remind this person of you okay they try to find it they try to find you in somebody else they couldn't find you in nobody else and they wish that they could take their words back but they know they fucked up they know that they went overboard and this person loves you unconditionally and they wondering if you happy without them they wondering are you happy without me they waiting for a sign from you if you show this person, I guarantee you, if you show was to show this person any type of damn interest, any type of anything, they come and running back over arms. But I'm getting like this person not even really y'all type no more. That's just what I'm getting. Like it's like you like, mm, you're not even really my type no more. They done waited too long, played around for too long. They done let you heal up and all that. And you like, who finna sit there and that's like picking a scab that I already done healed. Like, yeah, the scenario nasty. Because the situation was nasty. But it's like, why would you want to sit there and keep picking at a scab that they done healed? They got to come to you correct.
Yeah, I feel like you think this person just aggressive. Um, and they ain't been around. Like, I clearly see that they left the situation with the five pinnacles in the world. Like, this person, you haven't been feeling this person's energy around you at all. Um, and you tired of this person dealing with karmics. You ain't think this person was really like that, but they showed you some true colors. They showed you some colors you ain't never seen before in the crayon box. Let me tell you. Yeah, you felt like this person was in two relationships at the time. And they made their choice. You feel like they made their choice. They made their bed. They got to lay in it. Yep. They made their bed. They got to lay in it. Yep. Y'all blocked them. A lot of y'all blocked this person. Y'all blocked them. Like, literally blocked them from calling you. Blocked them on social media. Blocked them emotionally. Blocked them mentally. Y'all put a mental block up. Y'all don't really... Y'all don't really care to deal with this person like that. Yep. Ten of Wands. A lot of y'all done. Y'all done dealt with too much. It's like, I'm hearing times up. Time up. Times up. I don't know what they thought. Yep. Playing time. See, they had plenty of time to play. And I'm hearing times of all that back and forth. Y'all blocking this person from coming back and forth in and out of your life. Y'all set up a, a huge boundary. I'm hearing you made that bitch. You got lay in it. Oh, well. Oh, well. I feel like... You're even expected for this person to get the karmic pregnant. Like you're is you already you already expecting the worst. It's like mm, I don't want to hear no bad news. Yep. Some of y'all feel like whatever they got going on ain't none of y'all business. And I'm feeling the vibe. I'm feeling that I feel like they made their bed, they gotta lay in it. That's exactly what I'm seeing. You made your bed, you gotta lay in it. You gave them a chance. You gave them most all right, so I'm loving it. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, all right? I'm going to chat with y'all later.